It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. On November the 19th, there was a massive protest in the Mexican state of Baja, California. In the park called Tijuana in Baja, California, the Mexican residents claim that Donald Trump was right about the migrants in the caravan and they call it an invasion during their protests. When I first saw the news, the first thing I wondered was why are these people protesting against the caravan? I went to major American outlets, however, not a single one gave a reason on the why they were protesting. Not even people like Tim Pool could give a reason on the why they were protesting. So for this video, I decided to research the why on why these people are protesting. I also translated clips from Spanish to English to give you guys a better idea on the why. Before we get into that, I first want to state that this is not the first time the residents of Tijuana protested against the migrants. On October the 15th, they had a similar protest to what happened on the 19th. However, the major difference was that it was at nighttime and not daytime. No es tema de discriminación, es tema de seguridad social. Si ustedes no pueden resolver sus problemas en su tierra, no vengan a causar más problemas en la mía. Nosotros también tenemos muchos problemas como país. No necesitamos más problemas. Váyanse a su país. México primero. Primero nuestras familias, primero nuestra nación, después ellos. Entraron con violencia, se van con violencia. Entonces, no van a hacer nada ustedes, pero nosotros lo vamos a hacer. The main reason why some of these people are protesting is because some people in the caravan are acting very entitled. On the issue of food, they tend to be very uh, picky. Here's a translation of a headline done by El Universal. The officer accused the migrants of causing this order. After rejecting the spaces the municipality gave them, they walked to the beaches of Tijuana, where they had been seen consuming alcoholic drinks and marijuana. On their passage to Mexico, migrants appreciate the support, but they don't want to be offered any more sandwiches and tortas. They want real food. Here's the clip that the guy on Twitter posted. Hey, ¿Cómo te llamas? Honduras. ¿De dónde vienes? Honduras. De Honduras. ¿Qué te ha parecido el viaje? Bueno, el viaje está bien, pero el problema es que comida que no lo dan, ¿no? ¿Le ha hecho falta comida? Comida que no lo dan, pero comida. Eh, esos sándwiches con mortadela, es bueno, está bueno el apoyo, pero solo un sándwich no dan nada, pero eso... No the second to last example is a woman who claimed that beans and tortillas are food for pigs. The final example is a video that was posted on Facebook. The video is titled Migrants Only Want Soda and Pizza. 
In the video, the host talks about how the migrants wasted chicken, juice, and entire bottles of water. However, for pizza, they don't waste that. So basically, some of these migrants tend to be very finicky eaters. Besides being finicky eaters, some of the migrants are very messy. There's footage upon footage upon footage of the migrants leaving nothing but garbage on the streets. As far as crime is concerned, some of the migrants have been arrested for minor offenses. Not only were they arrested for minor offenses, but also they were arrested because some of them tried to rob a house or rob stores. This headline says a group of immigrants rob items from a store in Mexico. So the main reasons why the migrants are being protested is because they are panicky eaters, they litter, they basically just commit more crime in the area, and they also don't contribute to Mexican society. Before I sign out, I first want to state that this does not apply to all migrants. However, the examples that I gave in this video are the main reasons why Mexicans are protesting. What do you guys think? Tell me down below. And until next time, adios.